Welcome back, everyone. And, um, what happened to you? Is the whole class pretty much the Izuku with a bunch of bruises, cuts, scrapes, as he is slowly healing. They're just wondering, wait, if he doesn't take too long to heal, how come he's... These are fresh wounds, aren't they? Yeah. How? The, him just looking at the girls was like, mm hmm. You should just be more careful. <sighs> I didn't even <sighs> do anything. Why are you so tired? No reason. As he remembers the night long lecture Inko and Yajamama gave him. <laughs> About protecting his chastity. Well, in his mind, he's thinking, What the hell? I'm a guy. <laughs> See, the worst thing that could possibly happen to me is uh, I end up catching something. See? Hmm. No, seriously, I do wonder how come the Yaja Waman Yaja Mama gate. He doesn't sit with me and didn't really chew me out, too. Mm. I'm going to have to ask Yajamama about that later. <sighs> Alright. <sighs> now that we're back, yeah, let's, uh, you know. Get class started. Wow, not to see that you're as enthusiastic as ever, uh, Mishaiza. Don't, don't sass me, boy. <clears throat> Either way, you got the sports festival coming up in which we expect you to perform within UA's, you could say, standards. Okay. That, that, wait, why did that sound like a threat? Did it? Hmm, sorry. As yeah, everyone is just okay, that's kinda of a little ominous. What's what the fuck? But this is when they actually meet the rest, the rest of the courses and Morima being the way he is and Shinzo Dealing with Bakugo's nonsensory. It's like, yeah, you guys are just some arrogant bastards. And you do know that you could lose your spot in Class 1A. Excuse me? Yes. <sighs> oh, yeah, didn't I mention that? No, you didn't, Mr. Aizawa. Hmm. Oh, well, now you know. So, wait, why would we lose our spot? Well, <clears throat> Sports Festival gives all the students a reason to, or at least a way to shine, you could say. And, yeah, if someone from UA doesn't perform, they could lose their spot either in the current class or, who knows? Cause yeah, everyone's just look at the holy crap that sucks. Well, he's like, please, I got this. My, my my quirk is perfect. All I have to do is survive. I'll, I'm never gonna die. <sighs> is everyone feels the smug energy coming from Izuku? Them being somewhat pissed. It's like, Dude, what, did you hear what? Is he, is he that confident in his skills? It's like, <laughs> uh, oh yeah. <sighs> you know, I gotta go home. I need to catch up on so much sleep. What happened to you? I want to tell you, but I can't tell you. Okay, that's not. Ominous. 
That's, that's not worrisome at all. Good. As soon as he gets home, he does ask Yajima, okay, how, how come uh, the other Yajawaman aren't so jealous around Skylar, you know? Like, what about Alpha and Beta and, you know, taking this? <clears throat> oh, that was because we practiced polygamy. What? Oh, yeah. It's, uh, you know, pretty normal for one Yaoja male to have multiple wives from time to time. But there are some cases where they only have one. But, yeah. So, what you're saying is um, the Yaoja women are pretty much it's like, you're not going to fight over me. considering, according to their laws, that it's polygamous. Yep. As long as you at least like them, then yeah. But what? But what if uh, the girls don't want to share me? Oh, if they don't want to share you, they could fight for you. Excuse me. Yeah. I mean, it'll be quite interesting, but. Oh. Oh, oh dear. That's why. Wait, do the girls know this? No. Why didn't you tell them? Uh, I, I didn't think it was important. Mom. You, you gotta remember, we're not... Yauja, we're we're just uh, you know humans who just so have to know about your race. <sighs> oh, you're sleeping? Yeah, because of that damn lecture y'all gave me. Huh? Why don't you just adapt to the point where you don't need much sleep? <gasps> How dare you? Yeah. Now what? The audacity! I'm your mother. Believe me, I, I can do a lot worse. Uh, <clears throat> I can't deny you on that. Meanwhile, we cut back to outer space where Skylar is pretty much scouring the planets, trying to get her mind off Izuku. Like, I can't. Why, why'd I do that? Why'd I do that? Why'd I do that? Why did I have to kiss him? Well, it seemed like such a good idea at the time, but why? If she gets an income in his missions, did you do it? What? Did you kill him? No. Why not? I decided to bear his children, then kill him. No. Have him as my husband. Listen, child, that, that's not going to work for us. What? You remember what we told you. You have to kill him. Bearing his child. Or children. That's... Hmm. That's fine. But Izuku Midoriya must die. Why? That is not your business. You are just meant to do as you are told. Uh, uh, so, did you recover the robot? What? The adapt droid. Did you recover it? No. I didn't know that. Wait, you said that? course we thought you could have used some needed assistance but what I um listen listen just make sure that they don't uncover its memory core why 
because if they do, they'll learn who sent it. Why, why are we doing this? You know exactly why. Fine. Let's see what I can do. This guy there just turns around and heads straight back to Earth. Meanwhile, back at Earth, Izuku is testing out his quirk more. He's speeding up his brain, he's speeding up his adaptation, as well as, yeah, more, using more of this lightning to see how huh, powerful it really is. He's mainly used it to speed himself up to give him a much needed boost, especially when it comes to his quirk. But, he's never really used it too much when it comes to attacking. So yeah, this is going to be some kind of new experience for him. He's going to have to really get used to the whole fact that, yeah, I actually have an offensive quirk. The adaptation helps whenever I need to survive, but I can attack. There's an issue here, though. Considering he's been pretty much, <laughs> for lack of a better word, trained to be a hunter. You know, with the late the Yaojis, Yaojis. Yeah. His expertise involves around pretty much hand to hand fights as well as trapping, trap making, and all the like. It is not that easy for him to really, it's like, oh, wait, that's right. I don't know everyone's quirk. This could get messy for me. Hmm. Oh well, let's see. Let's see how this goes on the day of the sports festival. Izuku, he's actually somewhat excited yet nervous when it comes to the speech. is is normal, as far as you can tell. And yeah, no one really is gunning for one A, but they're gunning for one A. Just not where near as much as it wasn't caring when it came to Bakugo. It was arrogance. What comes to the race? Izuku, he's in. Let's just say he can only go so fast. So let's say he's on in third place. Todoroki in first. When it comes to the cavalry battle, he unveils his Thunderdome. I can't believe I said that, but yeah. <laughs> In which his whole team is pretty much surrounded by electrical field, which no one can really get past. Whoever tries gets electrocuted and sent flying. So they're able to keep on keep their points as well as grab as many as they possibly can. Izuku earning actually second place here. And when it comes to the fights, he's thought. A lot about what Ojiro said when he came to the hole. Yeah, don't talk to him. Don't answer any of his questions. For some reason, I pretty much went dunce face like Kaminari after using his quirk as soon as I talked to him. Okay. He's too good using that big boy brain. He's pretty much like, okay, let's see. Mind control, brainwashing, some kind of. And it's all caused by him getting a response. Okay, I know, I know exactly what to do here. As pretty much as soon as the battle starts, everyone's looking at Izuku, and his mouth is, is like it's been sewn shut. He sealed his own mouth, so he couldn't even answer Shinso. Everyone is pretty much horrified, but also it's like, wait, why is he doing that? Which he most his good old sign language skills, just writing down what he believes, well, he's saying what he believes Shinso's quirk is. He says brainwashing Shinso's like, 
Oh, that's some bullshit. It must have been that damn tailed motherfucker in his class. Is yeah, he can't do anything when it comes to actual bare knuckle combat. Sorry, not sorry. Now, when it comes to Izuku versus Soroki, Endeavor does try to convince him to, yeah, just get him to use my power and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, I'll do it. Very good. But not for you. Excuse me. Yeah, for him. He needs this more than you do. And, be honest, what kind of a hero gets their own children to fight their battles for them? Uh, what? what? Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, it makes you look kind of like a pussy. Uh, excuse me? No offense. It's just that it makes you... Yeah. Yeah, it just makes you just like go real weakling. Uh, what? Yep. I. Uh, I. You just. I, I. What? Something wrong? Is it Midoriya? Please arrive by the. Oh, right, sorry, I guessed. Go. See you later. Uh, 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 did, did I really just get told no by a kid? Uh, as soon as it starts, Joe Rogage does his same shit. He uses his eyes, making glaciers, trying to trap Rizuku, except he knows his. He's just looking kind of hairy. It's like, uh, wait, what, what's going on here? It's like, uh, oh yeah, your cold doesn't bother me anymore. You could just say, don't, don't you dare. It's like, the cold, no, don't you do it, please don't, doesn't bother me. Anyway. I will freeze you sod. You could try, but it's not going to work. As, yeah, glaciers among glaciers are pretty much thrown at Izuku. But him, luckily, yeah. Him being cold resistant, as well as actually using his lightning as an offensive attack, destroys all of them. And then he's just like, hey, you, you want to see something else I've been working on? What? As he takes a familiar stance known to many fans of a certain cartoon that was, of course, mistaken for an anime. As he's moving his arms around, more and more lightning is starting to build up. And everyone's thinking, he is not going to do this. Him just looking back. Oh yeah, this is happening. Blasting Choroki with a huge surge of lightning and him falling to his knees. As Deku does walk straight up to him. You should have used your fire. At least then you have a, would have a better chance. What are you talking about? Well, I can't really... I can't believe I'm telling you this. I can't really adapt to two different, you know... Uh, environments at once, like a desert versus a frozen tundra. Yeah, I, I might be able to adapt to them individually, but mm, at the same time, that's pretty much impossible for me. At least for now, it is. Seriously, I don't get why you really. Hmm. Well. I guess I do get why you hate your dad, but at the very least, you need to grow a pair and start using your full power. Now you're never going to be a great hero. Toroki, feeling the sincerity before Izuku actually tosses him out of the ring, 
a huge wave of fire blows him back. Thank you. I, I, I really mean that. And as thanks, I will defeat you. Probably should have kept my big mouth shut. 